The polling place for the statewide CDP offices is open 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. in Hall D. Voting is for three hours, so if the line is long, you can always come back within the window. Any voter in line by 7 p.m. will be allowed to vote. My pleasure to represent a former colleague of mine in the state legislature, Superintendent of Public Instruction, the Honorable Delane Easton, candidate for governor. Good afternoon, California Democrats. Thank you for lending your voices and your time to fight the thug in the White House and to stand up for democratic values. I don't have to tell you that our democracy is in trouble. It isn't just Trump that is threatening us. It is the lack of participation in our civil society and the lack of faith in government. You know, the word democracy comes from two Greek words, demos and kratos, meaning government by the people. And what a fabulous bunch of people we have here today. But the Greeks also invented the word idiot. It meant one who does not participate in politics. So thank you all for not being idiots. Saul Alinsky says there are only two sources of power in the universe, money and people. But people are only powerful when they're organized. If we want our democracy to last another 200 plus years, we must organize. And our government must be seen as a force for good again. Budgets are statements of values. And I want California's budget to reflect the values and priorities that built our great state. When I was a kid growing up in San Carlos with a dad who was a union machinist and a mom who worked as a dress clerk, we were not rich. But we didn't have to be for my parents to buy a home, a car, and for me to attend terrific public schools. I became the first person in my direct line to graduate from college, both UC Davis and UC Santa Barbara. During that time, our state had a budget that reflected our democratic values. We invested in education and infrastructure. Housing and health care were affordable. Our mentally ill were protected from homelessness, and our prisons were but a small line item in the state budget. We took care of our children, our communities, and, and each other in order to build a better tomorrow, and we began the ongoing fight for civil and equal rights for all. Since 1985, California has built just six college campuses, but 22 prisons. As our investment in higher education has plummeted, the percentage of our budget spent on prisons has tripled. Just think of what we could do with $10 billion more dollars we are spending on prisons each and every year. Take away education and you take away the most critical requirement for a democratic state, an educated electorate. As we stand at the barricades and to prepare to fight real barbarians at the gate, we must recognize that educating the next generation is our most sacred mission. Here in the California Democratic Party, we have the opportunity to go on the offense, set the tone and lead the way for the entire country. California needs a governor with a brass backbone, and that is why I am running. Because I know budgets are statements of values, and I want ours to reflect the priorities of the people I see here today, and so many others I have met throughout our great state. California needs a budget that invests in our future and provides the resources for us to educate our children from preschool to graduate school. And for heaven's sakes, let's make college tuition free again. Healthcare should be a right, not a privilege reserved for the wealthy. 
California is the sixth largest economy in the world. We need to ensure universal health care for everyone in our state, regardless of what happens in Washington, D.C. We must also use the full force of the California state law to protect our most vulnerable populations, the disabled, the homeless, immigrants, LGBTQ, people of color, and our California dreamers. We must preserve and protect our beautiful coastlines, forests, deserts, mountains, and valleys. We must ensure clean air and clean drinking water for all and continue to lead the battle against climate change. And of course, California should ban fracking. <clears throat> Finally, we must build an economy that works for everyone. Whether you are a machinist in Modesto, a teacher in Temecula, a laborer in Los Angeles, or a techie in Silicon Valley, California needs to be a place where you can buy a home, send your kids to college, and live a comfortable retirement. This means we need long-range plans to fix aging infrastructure, build affordable housing, and provide jobs that provide a living wage. This is what government must do if we expect our grand experiment in democracy to survive into the next century and beyond. Neil Postman wrote, children are a living message we send to a time we will never see. What is our message? Are we going to leave our children with dirty water, poor schools, massive inequality, and a corrupted republic? Or are we going to unite, invest in the future, and do the hard work that it takes to rebuild our democracy? If I give you 20 pencils, one at a time, most of you could break every single one. But if I give you 20 pencils all together, the strongest person in this room cannot break them. If we organize and stand together, we have the power to shape a magnificent future. Please think about it and join me on this campaign for California. Thank you very much.